giving up has never been an option and will never be an option. I know you have an idea, a project, a dream, whatever it is that God has put inside of you and you've tried to work it. You've put in effort countless times and you keep failing. Right now you feel like stopping, you feel like quitting. Pause. Before you give up, you need to watch these videos because I'm going to share with you five live lessons that will encourage you to keep going, to keep working and not to give up. Hey friends, it's Somi and you're welcome to Somi's Corner. Here we'll talk about valuable life tips, relatable experiences and inspiring contents on faith, relationship and lifestyle. You are welcome. Mwah. I honestly know how it feels to try to do something and the times you tried, you keep feeling, you know, how painful it is, how frustrating it can be. I know, I understand your feelings. It took Noah 100 years, guys, 100 solid years to view the ark. Isaac had three attempts at digging the world because of the challenges he encountered with the previous two that he dug. Thomas Edison failed 1,000 times at inventing the light bulb. The Wright brothers had about seven failed attempts. And for me, it was five times giving YouTube a trial and I failed those five times. I'm going to give you a gist about all the difficulties and challenges I encountered. Most importantly, I'm going to share with you five life lessons I learned all through this period, you know, the process of failing and all of that. And I hope that this lesson will help you to reflect again and to encourage you not to give up, but rather to start working on that dream, that idea or that project of yours, okay? A brief background, I have always wanted to be a YouTuber. I've always wanted to have a platform where I could share my thoughts, my ideas, I could give my one cent, you know, have an opportunity to talk about the topics that interest me and engage with people on the online basis and all of that. For be a public speaker, I inspire to be a counselor one day and all of that, yes, I've always had that desire to be in digital media. Whenever the camera light is on, I'm alive. Like basically anything that will require me to talk, to speak about a certain topic or an idea or a subject. I've always been interested in that. So fast forward to 7th of July, 2021. That's one year and four months now. I had the idea or the idea of starting my own YouTube channel came to mind. I've done YouTube before, but it wasn't my own. It wasn't my channel. I was working for a media company back in Lagos when I was doing my youth service and I hosted a show. It, it was called Daily Doors. I don't know if they air it right now anymore. It was just us pushing out content on, our, on the company's YouTube channel. So I filmed about 10, 10 episodes of that particular, of that particular video, of that particular show before my NYSC time elapsed. That experience was basically me talking to the camera. I came up with the idea, yes, but I wasn't the one filming myself. So I wasn't the one editing. I wasn't the one doing all the promotions and all of that. Mine was to come up with an idea, come up with a costume, have my friend Wendy. Hi, Wendy. <laughs> have my friend Wendy make me up and then speak to the camera. So the entire post-production activity was dumped on one of my colleagues, Abai. Hi, Abai. <laughs> so I didn't have any other experience about filming myself, publishing, editing, and doing all of the YouTube things and all of that. So when this idea came, I didn't know where to start from. After deliberating on the topics and all of that, I went to my cousin, Rejoice Iweze and Favor Obaleze and told them what I had in mind what I was aspiring to do and yes they gave me their own advice and encouraged me to start yes after all their advice and counsel and encouragement it was time for me to start my YouTube channel so what happened I filmed my first video I watched a couple of 
not couple, lots of videos. Hey, I consumed lots of content. I went online and started searching how to be a YouTuber, how to own your own channel, how to do this, how to do that. I watched so many people until I became overwhelmed. My head was full. So, but when I finally got to film my first video, that was on my birthday last year, my idea was to publish my or launch my YouTube channel on my birthday last year, September 20th. While filming, I had issues with light. Lightning was a mess. <laughs> I had issues with audio. My the mic I bought wasn't working. The ring light I bought was so small, it was rubbish. So I had all these challenges after all said and done. It was time for editing. I didn't know my left from my right when it comes to editing. Right now, I know I know basic editing and I'm so interested in learning learning everything about editing and becoming a pro editor but I just know basic editing right now but then I didn't know Jack so I called on my friend and he called on someone to come and help me edit when the person came he did he was trying I think he was trying with um, Kind Master, I don't know if that thing is called Kind Master or Kin Master, but that particular software he tried it. And guys, I had the I had the most craziest phone. My my Android phone then the memory space was not encouraging. Hey God, there was so many things to discourage me from starting. The memory was rubbish. The video quality zero. Everything was not just gelling well. The video was not videoing at all. It was time for him to go. It was my birthday. People were wishing me happy birthday. I remember it was the same phone I was using to receive happy birthday, um, birthday prayers, birthday wishes. When it got to like, I think 10 p.m. thereabouts, he needed to go. But yet, my video was not videoing. <laughs> I was so annoyed, so frustrated, so angry. And I didn't get to post that video. I didn't get to use it. I discarded it. That was my first attempt. My second attempt, after a long while, because I got discouraged, I felt bad. After a long while, a couple of months, I did another attempt. And what actually happened was I lost clips. In the process of transferring the video from my phone to my laptop where I was going to do the editing, I lost some important clips from the video and I couldn't film it again because I wasn't filming in my house. My house wasn't compatible, the, the walls and everything was not gelling well so I had to use a friend's studio. But by the time I was done and I left the studio, during the time of editing, I realized that this particular clip was not there and I couldn't do without it. So that was it, I discarded it. Okay, the third attempt, I just remembered what happened to me. <laughs> I was editing on my laptop. I downloaded DaVinci Resolve on my laptop. And boom, my laptop was not laptoping. My laptop memory and whatever was so small that it couldn't house DaVinci Resolve. Even the little version of DaVinci Resolve. The app downloaded, the app opened. But during the process of editing, when I was done editing, I couldn't move the video. The video said I know they go any day. The video did not move. <laughs> Everybody I know that could help me tried. But for each time they tried, the laptop would just go off. When it was time to download the video, when you know when you're done editing, you now need to download it as a file and then before you upload. It, 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 didn't, it, didn't, it didn't work. The laptop would just go off. It will, it will go around and maybe when it's like 90 something, the laptop will shut down. <laughs> Guys, if you see me, I was red. You know this is my fresh skin, it was not fresh. I was red, I was angry. I was like, are you are you even sure this thing is for me? Like, what is it that I'm, what is it that I'm not doing well? So yeah, the fourth time, I now, that was when I now said, okay, I'm not going to use my laptop again. I'm going to use my phone to edit and then move it to my laptop to upload. First of all, editing the clips and joining it and transitioning became 
hectic. Remember, I didn't know anything about editing. I was just trying to help myself. The transition, everything was rubbish. But I tried to get it to the barest minimum. After editing, I had the file, the edited file on my on my editing app. I was using VN, yes, that was VN editing app when I was done. And I said, okay, let me download. Before I download, let me make room for the files because it, it, it to be a large file. That's how I went to delete the original video clips that I filmed, not knowing that when I delete the original one, the one that I was editing, the one that I had edited already on the editing app, would jack back with it. <laughs> I'm laughing now, but it was not funny. I was already excited. I had shown it to a friend of mine and said, okay, see, this is what I came up with. I tried everything I could. I went back to the editing app. I tried nothing. I couldn't, I couldn't find the clips. My friend actually advised me and said, oh, that I could actually delete the original file since I have edited it and so that I can make space up in my phone. Both I and him, none of us knew that the original files and the edited one would go same time so there was no solution but what I did later on when I got my breath after crying and worrying and all of that I tried to pull out the one I transferred from my phone the original clip because I transferred it to my laptop before I started editing so the original clip I went back to my laptop to copy it back to my phone it that one took ages even when it finally dropped in my phone it didn't make any meaning like there was nothing I could do with it and that was how it ended the fifth time and I said okay since I have this original file already in my phone yes the one I edited earlier has gone I've lost out on that one I've lost time effort everything I've lost out on that one I have the original clip let me start editing again so I said one Wednesday I went to church I was going to church I said okay I'm going to make all the space I need in my phone and then when I come back this that night I'm going to spend the entire night editing because I had a deadline of that I set for myself to publish that video that very day someone stole my phone now I am, I'm not only losing out on original clip or edited clip no I lost out on contacts on documents I lost out on all the content ideas that I had I had thought of and written down. I lost out on the video that I was going to edit. It was something else, guys. Now I'm laughing, I'm smiling. But back then, it was frustrating. It felt like I wasn't good enough. I wasn't going to do this YouTube. It's not for me. It felt really bad. Really, really, really bad. So I had to start from square one started with um, a little phone and all of that and then finally I have another phone. I had every reason to give up. I had every reason to give up. The lessons I'm going to share with you were things that helped me to keep pushing, to keep going. It hasn't been easy but I thank God that finally here we are. So let's jump right into those lessons and I hope that by the end of the sharing, you're going to find encouragement. Lesson number one, it is God's idea and not mine. So it is God's idea and not yours. Let me read a scripture to you in Philippians 2.13. God which works in you, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Yes, it is God's will. It is God's idea. It is God's dream it is god's enablement right so you need to begin to treat that idea that project as god's property that god entrusted it into your hands you need to start seeing yourself as the vessel as a vessel not the master you don't own it and then treating it as god's property also means you need to start thinking about value yes what because god is a god of value god is a person 
of value. It also avoids selfish thoughts. Stop thinking about what you're going to gain from being a YouTuber, a podcaster, an NGO owner, a business owner. Mm -mm. Like I said earlier, think about value because God is the God of value. God bettered that idea into your mind. God bettered that idea into your spirit. He enabled you to think of that idea because he wants to be a blessing to someone else's life. Lesson two, his idea, his strategy. Now, we established in lesson one that the idea is not yours, it's God's idea. Now, if it is God's idea, then his strategy is what will sustain it. His strategy is how you should go. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't learn from others. You shouldn't listen to other people's opinion, other people's advice. Remember, when I started out, I told you guys that I went to my cousins, Rejoice and Favor. But no, I'm not going to start copying Rejoice or start copying Favor or start copying any popular YouTuber I know or I've listened to. It's okay to learn from people, but it's not okay to copy or imitate them because you need to be your original self. So God's idea will require God's strategy. There is a way God wants you to do that thing that you're doing, different from the way other people are doing it. Mind you, you may be doing what someone else is already doing, but how God will have you do it is what is what makes you different from that other person. So yes, you need to ask God how he would have you do it. You need to seek counsel from God through prayer. It could be reading a book based on that idea, based on that project. It could just be anything, but seek a unique strategy from God that would help you push that idea. Maybe you're copying people a lot. Maybe you're in, trying to imitate someone. Maybe you have so many people in your head. In my own time, I had so many YouTubers on my head and I was trying to implement what this other person said, implement what this other person said, implement what this other... And then I became overwhelmed. I became frustrated. So ask God the strategy, the how he would have you do what he wants you to do. During the building of the ark, God gave Noah specification, strategy, how he would have him build the ark. It wasn't how other people were building. God had specifications. He had details. Let me read that scripture to you. Genesis 6, 14. Make thee an ark of gopher wood. Room shall you make in the ark and shall pitch it within and without with pitch verse 15 and this is the fashion with which you shall make it of the length of the ark shall be 300 cubits the width of it 50 cubits and the height of it 30 cubits verse 16 a window shall you make to the ark and in a cubit shall you finish it above and the door of the ark shall you set in the side thereof with lower Second and third stories shall you make it. This our God has specifications. He had a strategy. It's his idea. He would also give you the strategy. Please go to him for the strategy. Lesson three. It is my job to work the idea. Now to you, it is your job to work the idea. In Acts 10, 38, the Bible said how God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power. And he went about doing. He went about doing good and healing all those that were oppressed of the devil because God was with him. He went about, he was doing something. Right now, you need to learn that it is your job to work the idea. Yes. The Bible also said, I must work the work of him who sent me while it is day. For night cometh when no man can walk. Now, what do you need to do? You need to start you need to start now. Now, if you have started and you have failed a couple of times, you have failed over and over again, I'm encouraging you, keep at it. Don't let go of it. And for someone who hasn't started, you need to start now. Now is the time, not tomorrow. Don't procrastinate. You need to start now. Secondly, you need to start small and aim higher. When I started, I wanted to do everything at the same time and I was burnt out. Now I'm trying to encourage you to start small and aim higher. You start with what you have 
and by the time you put one food, the other one, the other one, you will start seeing results, you start seeing that you're growing, that you're improving. Lesson four, there will be roadblocks. There will be roadblocks. Expected challenges, situations, circumstances, there will be roadblocks. And I need you to know it now. What I did dog was three wells. Not because the first one he didn't dig it well or the second one he didn't dig it well, but because those the previous times he did, he encountered difficulties, he encountered challenges. Some people somewhere started and say, Oh, it's our land, this and that and that and that. You can't you can't take ownership of the well and until the third time he dog and no trouble. So you're going to learn that roadblocks would definitely appear and you need to you need to build yourself to be strong enough to encounter them yes it's okay to plan ah uh, give it up for the queen of planning i love to plan i plan everything i plan my day my trips my outings my activities i plan everything as little as you can think about as crazy as you can think about whatever it is I pen it down on my notes because I like everything to work seamlessly. If I have planned it in my head, planned it on paper, I, 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 I want it to go that way. But life is not like that. There will be situations that will come up unexpectedly and you need to plan for all those things. So yes, it's okay to plan everything you want to do, but please make room for challenges because they will come and you will need to surround them. I need you to know it may not be easy, but God can help you if you ask him. It may not be as swift as you expected it, but God can help you also if you ask him. It may tarry the actualization of that dream of yours, of that purpose, of that project, of whatever you're chasing, whatever you're pursuing. It may tarry, but please keep trying. Don't give up right now. Don't give in or don't throw in the towel. No, please keep trying. And lastly, under this lesson, I want you to know that you can try other means. Now, if something you're doing is not working, you've tried it the first time, tried it the second time, please, you need to strategically look at that action and know, okay, are there other ways I can do what I'm doing? Yes, I have failed at this thing several times. Is there another way that it could work? Yes, it, it, if it's working for some other people, then it should work for you. But then you have to question what exactly that you're doing. Before we move over to the fifth lesson, if you are finding value in this video, please leave me a like, leave a like on the video. And I also want you to leave me a comment in the comment section telling me how many times you have tried working that idea or betting something and how many times you failed your struggle your challenges and all of that i want to hear you in the comment section lesson five talking to god is therapeutic guys talking to god is therapeutic now let me tell you why you know when you talk to men you may have the feeling of oh are you sure my secrets are safe are you sure if i have an outboard this person is going to understand why i am ranting why i'm having an outburst can i even be comfortable talking my problems to this person you have so many reasons but when you're talking to god you know that nobody else is there nobody else is listening to you god will not get angry with you god is not even shocked with what you're saying or what you're complaining mm. god is not god is not bothered like we are in the midst of the storm, chaos, God is not in shock. No, 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 no. Talking to God, letting him in on your worries, on your problems, on your struggles. Letting him know that, yo, I'm trying, it's not working. You know, during my time, I'm like, God, what is all these things? I'm trying, it's not working. Now, the Bible said in Proverbs 3, 5 to 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not in your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. In all your ways, in whatever, if you, whatever you call your ways, God is saying, 
trust me with it. Talk to me about it. I want to help you. I want to give you the wisdom. I want to give you the idea. The, I gave you the idea. I want to give you the strategy. I want to give you the counsel, the wisdom, how you should do it. I want to tell you how you should navigate this problem. I want to teach you how to navigate this situation. God wants to hear you pour, you pour your all, pour your heart to him. And trust me, when you're done talking to God, there is this feeling. You just, you may not have the solution yet, all, but you feel lighter. You feel okay. So you need to learn how to be vulnerable to God. Don't come to God and be feeling all prof, all big, all pumped up and all of that. I got it. You got nothing. You need to learn how to share your weaknesses and accept God's strength. The Bible said in our weaknesses, the strength of God is made perfect. Ask the Lord, ask him to help you where you're failing. Share with him all those failures, all those failed attempts and be willing, be open to receive his own strategy, to receive his specific strategy, to receive his unique answer to your unique problem. Peter told all night and didn't catch anything, any fish. As a fisherman, he stayed up all night. He worked. He put in the work. He did his part and he didn't catch anything. And I know you have tried. You've tried to put in your best, do it this way, do it that way. And it seems not to be working. But immediately Jesus came on board. At his word, at his instruction, Peter, Peter, Peter caught, caught fish in abundance. So this is me encouraging you. This is God using me, using this video to encourage you and to ask you to try again. Yes. Go out and do it again. Pick up, open up your laptop and try again. Open up your phone and try again. Turn on the microphone and try again. Just try. Try. Place that call. Try again. Try again. And you will see the mighty help of God coming to you. Don't give up. Don't give up. Giving up is not an option and will never be an option. Try again. And I, and I, and I, and I honestly pray that the Holy Spirit, that God would bring you maximum help and will help you achieve whatever it is you have been trying to achieve. Okay? If this video and this lessons have been helpful to you in any way, don't forget to give the video a like, share it with everybody you think would need it, and of course, comment your biggest takeaway from the video, comment your highlights, comment what you are taking away from the video and how you're going to implement it. I would also love you to subscribe to this channel for more inspiring content like this one, and you can also follow me on IG at Sumi's Corner. If you haven't watched my intro video, my very first YouTube video, I would leave the link in the description and I will need you to go and watch it. Until the next video, bye!